Today I'm going to share with you my top 20 fascinating things I learned from Bill Bryson's A Short History of Nearly Everything. Let's jump right into it. Number 1. If you go outside and grab a handful of soil, it will contain up to a million plump yeasts, 200,000 molds, about 10,000 protozoans and assorted rotifers, flatworms, roundworms, and other microscopic creatures known collectively as cryptozoa. A large portion of these will also be unknown. Number 2. Run a finger along a dusty shelf and you are drawing a pattern very largely in dead skin. Number 3. About half the chemical functions that take place in a banana are basically the same as the chemical functions that take place in your body. Yes, you've been part banana since you were born and you didn't even know it. Number 4. Marine organisms capture atmospheric carbon in the form of CO2 when it falls as rain and they use it to make their shells. By locking the carbon in their shells, they keep it from being evaporated into the atmosphere where it would build up dangerously as a greenhouse gas. This keeps the planet stable and cool. Number 5. A great blue whale's heart is the size of a car. Number 6. Carl Sagan in his book Cosmos raised the possibility that if you travel downwards into an electron, you might find that it contains a universe of its own. Number 7. E equals mc squared. What does it mean? It basically says that mass and energy have an equivalence. They are two forms of the same thing. Energy is liberated matter, and matter is energy waiting to happen. Since C2, the speed of light times itself, is a truly enormous number, what the equation is saying is that there is a huge amount of energy stored within every material thing. If you are an average size adult, you will contain around 7 times 10 to the power of 18 joules of potential energy, enough to explode with the force of 30 large hydrogen bombs. Even a uranium bomb, the most energetic thing we have produced yet, releases less than 1% of the energy it could release if only we could work out how. Number 8. If you burned a book, its matter would be changed to ash and smoke, but the net amount of stuff in the universe would remain the same. Number 9. If an atom were expanded to the size of a cathedral, the nucleus would be only about the size of a fly, but a fly many thousands of times heavier than the cathedral. Number 10. Karl Popper, who Steven Weinberg has called the Dean of Modern Philosophers of Science, once suggested that there may not in fact be an ultimate theory for physics, that rather, every explanation may require a further explanation, producing an infinite chain of more and more fundamental principles. Number 11. The common ground cherry was once called Phasalus amno ramosissimi ramus angulosus glabrus follus dentoceratus. I hope I said that right. Number 12. 99.99% of all species that have ever lived are no longer with us. Number 13. Want to grow your beard faster? According to Bryson, how fast a man's beard grows is partly a function of how much he thinks about sex, because thinking about sex produces a testosterone surge. Number 14. For every kilogram of shrimp harvested, about 4 kilograms of fish and other marine creatures are destroyed. Number 15. We have better maps of Mars than we do of our own seabeds. This may explain why 97% of the world's plant and animal species may still await discovery. Of the organisms that we do know about, more than 99 in 100 are only barely described with just a scientific name, a handful of specimens in a museum, and a few bits of description in scientific journals. Number 17. We are all reincarnations, though short-lived ones. When we die, our atoms will disassemble and move off to find new uses elsewhere, as part of a leaf, or other human being, or a drop of dew. Atoms themselves, however, pretty much go on forever. Number 18. You couldn't be here without a little incest. Compare your genes with any other human beings, and on average, they will be about 99.9% .9 the same. Number 19. When the universe expands, it won't be spreading out to fill a larger emptiness. The only space that exists is the space it creates as it goes. Last but not least, number 20. We are the only creature that can harm at a distance. I don't know about this one. Surely there's some animal that can harm from a distance. Can you think of one? That wraps it up for this video. Normally I review self-development books on this channel, although from time to time I will review exciting books like this one. I'll catch you later guys, have a fantastic day.